Hi, I'm Teresa Santa with MediaPix Web Designs, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to design this cover photo and also this prof profile picture in Facebook. As you know, March 30th, they're going to be rolling out this new format where all fan pages will have to go to timeline. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using Microsoft PowerPoint to do this, PowerPoint 2007. You could do, use Microsoft Word, um, but this is more of a tutorial intended for people that don't have uh, Photoshop or Illustrator to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first I'm going to take you to Facebook's Help Center because you really should know that for your cover photo there are rules they do not want you to put any type of calls to action, contact information such as, as your web address, email, or anything like that. Um, they don't want you to put a big arrow saying to like my page or share my page. Um, and I'm talking about that one big picture right here, okay? So let me show you the end product. This is what we're gonna be designing today. Um, and I'm gonna show you the cool little format tricks and stuff that PowerPoint has to offer. So let me go ahead and open up PowerPoint. I already have fake logos that I created for this tutorial. So it's just for training purposes. So I'm going to click this bubble here and click on new. And then I'm going to select blank presentation. I'm going to click these and delete them because I'm not going to be typing. If you need them to type, keep them. Okay, and then I'm going to go and click on Design, click Page Setup, select Custom from the drop-down menu. The width for that big picture is 8.465, and the height is 3.135. And I'm going to keep it lands Landscape, click OK. Then I'm going to go and click on Insert, Picture. I'm going to go grab my fake logo. And then I'm going to uh, hold down the shift key and drag. I'm just going to drag this to where I want it to be. Then I'm going to click on insert again, click on picture, and then I'm, I'm going to pick this picture here. I really like this living room. So I'm just going to use this for this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and drag this over and resize it a little bit. And this is what's really cool about Microsoft PowerPoint is that it gives you these formats that you could use. All I'm doing right now is hovering over these different formats that you can use for your photos um, to give them more of that designer type of look. So I'm going to go ahead and select the one that I had showed you. Okay, Then I'm going to click on design and another thing that PowerPoint has is that they have these really nice presentation templates that can help you kind of uh, figure out what look and feel you want. And then what I really like about it too is that you can customize it further by picking either a color template um, or you can create your own theme colors if you'd like. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and leave that there. The last thing I'm going to do, because I'm almost done, is I'm going to insert a shape. And what I'm doing here is I'm creating a border because I want my picture to be differentiated from the white of Facebook. If you want me to show you, let me show you really quick. Um, let me show you on someone else's fan page because they have a white background. S see this border here is, um, I put that there. So there's a nice differentiation between where Facebook starts and their actual cover photo. Okay, So I'm going to go back to PowerPoint. That's obviously not the color I want, so I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to click on Format Shape. I'm going to click on Line Color. I don't want a line color. I'm going to click on Fill. And I want a gradient fill for this. Actually, I want it a little thicker too. Okay, so my stop one, um, I like that color and you know you can select whatever color you want. Let's go darker so you can see. Stop two should probably be a lighter color to give it that roundness and stop three should um, probably be either a darker color or a lighter color depending on the type of 
gradient that you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there. I kind of like that ridge look. Click on close. And now you're ready to save this as a photo. You're not going to save it as a PowerPoint presentation, although you should if you want to go back and change something. But I'm just going to go ahead and click the Save As. Click um, the type as PNG. And then I am going to call this 2012 um, Timeline. Okay, and then I'm just going to click Save. And it's going to ask me if I want to export every slide. I only have one slide. So I'm going to select Current Slide Only. And then now we're going to go ahead and do um, the thumbnail. So let me show you again what that thumbnail is going to look like. In Facebook, what they do is they give you this um, sort of white border already. And if you have a white background, that can look kind of uh, milky, I guess. So I'm going to show you as well how to put a border around that too. So let's go back to PowerPoint. Click on the bubble. Click New. Bling Presentation. Click Create. Click on Design. Page Setup. Select Custom. And the size for that is 1.875 by 1.875. And then go ahead and click on OK. I'm going to get rid of these because I'm not typing. And I'm going to go to Insert, Picture. I'm going to grab my logo or my fake logo. And then I'm going to click on Insert, Picture. And what I'm going to do is pretend that this office building belongs to this company here. And if this was to be your background and you needed the logo to be up front, you would just right click and click on send to back and that'll bring that up to the front, okay? And then I'm just going to shift and click and drag because I want this out here somewhere, okay? And then again, you get your formats, right? So you can um, hover over, you know, really cool effects that you might want to use. Just going to select this one. And now I'm going to do my border to match my uh, big picture. So I'm going to click on insert. I'm going to go to shapes, grab this rectangle. And I'm just going to draw it around here. And this is not what we want, so we need to send this to the back. So I right click, send to back. I want this to be white, so I right click, format shape. And then I want this to be white. And then the line color, I want it to be closer to that line color from the big picture. And then that's it. So now I'm going to click the bubble, click on Save As. And I'm going to name this 2012 Thumbnail. And make sure that the Save As type is a PNG file. Click Save. And then Current Slide Only. And then I'm done. So you can go and view this stuff um, wherever you saved it at. I'm going to go ahead and this is what I did here, right? And then my uh, thumbnail, that's my thumbnail. So now let me show you really quick how to upload it onto Facebook. Go back to Facebook. And um, for your profile picture, you just click on the down arrow, click on Upload Photo. And then find that photo uh, and then click on open. I'm not going to do it to mine because this is my real timeline. Okay, and then to change the cover page, you're going to click on this down arrow. If it's your first time doing this, you're going to get um, a nice uh, bubble from Facebook saying not to put anything on there, calls to action, um, pretty much their rules. So just click OK and then come back here and click the down arrow. Click upload photo select that photo that we did um, of course one that looks like your company <laughs> and then click on open and then you can either click and drag um, if you're happy great keep it if not click on cancel and go back to your PowerPoint and um, make changes if you need to okay that's it thanks for following me on Facebook if you haven't done so I'd love to see you there my Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash media pics have a great day. Bye.